The Fairphone Gen 6 is a whole new smartphone experience that is even more sustainable and modular than our previous products. It wouldn't really be a fair phone if it wasn't now, would it? Just like our older Fairphone models, the Fairphone gives you the power to open it up and replace parts within minutes in the comfort of your own home. But before you get started, here are some things to keep in mind. Find an even, level and clean surface to work on with a good light source so you don't miss anything. Make sure to switch off your phone. We recommend keeping a few things handy. A cloth to clean the surface of your phone. Two small containers to divide and keep all the small screws in place. A credit card, guitar pick, or other similar piece of plastic to help with removing parts. And a Torx T5 screwdriver, which you can find in our web shop. A word of caution. Please don't use any metal objects other than the screwdriver when working on the phone. You can easily get the job done with just your fingers and the card, pick, or the plastic piece we mentioned earlier. This will also protect the internal parts from unwanted damage. Watch this video from beginning to end before getting to work. This will help you get a clear idea of all the different steps involved in the process. You can then play the video again to follow the steps one by one. Got all that? Okay, here we go. In this video, we're going to take you through all the steps to replace your battery. Let's get right to it. Any replacement work on the Fairphone begins with taking these two screws on the top of the lower back cover off. Like we mentioned earlier, make sure the phone is switched off by pressing the power button and volume button. Depending on your settings, you might have to long press the power button to access the power menu. Here's a quick tip. It's easy to confuse the outer screws with the inner screws when disassembling and reassembling the device. The main difference is the length of the screws. The longer screws go on the outside, the shorter ones stay on the inside. We start by unscrewing the two screws on the lower back cover and sliding the lower back cover off towards the bottom. Now, keeping the phone with the screen facing down, you need to start removing the five screws around the battery. There are two on each side of this metal sheet covering the battery and one up top in the middle, right here on the connector cover. Make sure to keep all the screws safely in a separate container. Now that the screws are out, you can slowly lift the connector cover on the top, disconnect the board to board or B2B connector underneath, and you should now be able to remove the old battery easily. and pop a new one in. Reconnect the B2B connector. Make sure you hear a click. Close the connector cover and re-screw all the screws you removed. Unlike our earlier additions, the battery on the Fairphone is not meant for frequent swapping and should only be replaced when it has reached its end of life. This could be anywhere between two and four years after you first use it, depending on your usage patterns. Now, slide the lower back cover back onto the device. Make sure to place it higher up on the phone so it slides in easily. And re-screw our two main back cover screws. Now, switch on your Fairphone. You should be good to go. You can check your battery's health in your phone's settings, under the battery menu. Also, make sure to dispose of the old battery responsibly at a local electronic battery waste point. It shouldn't be thrown in the bin. And that's it! Congrats on replacing your battery all by yourself! If you need any more information, just go to our website, you'll find everything you need there. <laughs>